Finding the decision makers of certain companies you want to do business with is tricky even if you use LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which is a paid tool. It's just the way it works. Once you're in it, there are so many different features and um, finding the, the right target audience is not the best way. So for example, personally, I know that I want to be working with SEO agencies, but finding an SEO agency decision maker using LinkedIn Sales Navigator is pretty tricky because once I type in SEO here, well, guess what? I get all sorts of other people like copywriters, like recruiters, or any other profile that mentions SEO. And the way it works with LinkedIn is um, it's, it's pretty broad, especially once you use the keyword right here. So instead of looking for decision makers first, I would take a different approach and look for companies first. And once I find the companies that qualify for my specific ICP, then I'd find the decision makers from there. But this is something I will be covering in a different video. But for now, I'm going to show you exactly how to find those companies. So to do this, there is a really cool way of doing this. And this is where my knowledge of link, uh, link building, SEO link building, and basically using advanced search operators come in very handy. So the way LinkedIn works is that they've got all these, they've got all of these companies listed, nested in their, what is called a subfolder, which is using this then. So it's got this company. So once I click the search results, so basically I'm telling Google that I only want to get results from uh, LinkedIn.com and the results should all, the results that I receive should all include com slash company, which is basically the path to any company's profile on LinkedIn. So once I hit enter, I get approximately 100 18 million results all coming from from LinkedIn as you can see all of these companies they are all of these companies they are like I mean these are all company pages yeah and that's exactly what we're looking for I've got all of them in Spanish because I'm in Argentina but anyway so as I mentioned I want to find my ideal client is an SEO agency with a certain amount of people working there so I want to now include this part here so again, basically now I'm telling Google that I only want to get results from LinkedIn that have this company thing in there, so only companies, that also include agency and SEO. Yeah, so this is the way for me to kind of know that they, they include agency and SEO, basically it's an SEO agency, right? So now I'm going to hit enter. And now all of these results that I get all of these results see this us seo company first page seo company seo service company so simply whatever seo sem company all of these guys are within my target target audience but the problem is that i'm not super happy with this because i can get different size agencies and i only work i only want to work with small agencies yeah because they technically need help with lead generation and that sort of thing so now i'm going to tell Google that I only want to have agencies, SEO agencies that, for example, work with, they only have eight employees. So the search operator I'm going to include is in text. So basically I'm telling Google that I, that whatever, that it has to search the text on the page. And if it has eight employees, yeah, this is the result that I want to have. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to have like nine employees because I went through eight employees before. I'm going to click nine employees. So now, as you can see, like I'm going to hit a few results to, to show you what's going on here. So now I've got all these companies. And as you can see, they're all like what, nine employees, nine employees, nine employees, eight employees. Sometimes Google is a little bit slow because you have to re-index this page to see the change number of employees, but it's pretty, pretty, pretty close. So once you start getting these guys here, so I recommend you just go through the list and just li literally open them up. Not all of these results will be still active. Yeah. And if, if the company doesn't exist anymore, if the profile page doesn't exist anymore, there will be like a bad request. So LinkedIn will show that to you. And if there's a bad request, you just close it. Once you start kind of putting them all together, I highly recommend, so you will basically look through, like look through these. So I might not be working, for example, I don't like, I don't want to work with anybody from Pennsylvania. So obviously I'll close this tab. 
So once I've got all of them kind of looked through, there is this Chrome extension called Copy URLs to Clipboard. You can download it separately. So I'm going to click it and click Copy. So now I have six tabs, six tabs here. Yeah, because I've got six tabs open here. All of those URLs are copied. The reason I need that is because I want to clean up this mess here. Yeah, because this is something that I will need to do once I want to upload all of these companies back to LinkedIn. So LinkedIn does this search for me and helps me to find the decision makers from, this com from these companies, okay? So I've got all of these copied. Next thing I do is I go to orange, orangefox.com slash cleaner. I open up the result, I click paste. And as you can see, I got a bunch of these results. So I don't need the first three. Yeah, so I take them out. And uh, then I'm going to click this button here. It says trim to subfolder and just watch these watch these bits right now. So sometimes they're a lot longer. It's just the tracker that LinkedIn is kind of tracking all this data. So you hit trim to subfolder and there you have it. So now you have the clean company URL. Once you got these URLs, you save them into a CSV and I'm going to do exact I'm going to show you exactly what you do next with this stuff in the next video. So guys, I hope you just see how powerful this can be in order to find first find the companies and then once you make sure that these are the companies you want to work with, you can kind of tell what's up by the number of employees there. It's a good proxy to have. You then take all of these results, normalize them like I've just done with Orange Fox, and then you will be uploading them to LinkedIn. And this is something I'll show you in the next video. Let me know if this was of help. I hope it serves you well, and I'll see you in the next video.